Here is a country that most people have no idea about, and unless you lived there or visited the country or neighboring around it, you probably don't know much about the great country of Albania, a country that is going to surprise a lot of people because it's amazingly beautiful and it's got some interesting things about it. How's it going guys? Welcome to FTD Facts. My name is Dave Wapple. Really overpronounced that FTD there, but either way, welcome to specifically our Monday episodes where I look at new countries from all around the world. It's really awesome. But before I get into all the facts, I'd like to ask you, the lovely viewer who I hope is having a fantastic day today, but I like to ask you guys, considering we're learning about Albania, let me ask you this and feel free to answer down there or up in the poll above me. What do you think Albania is most famous for? Feel free to do multiple choice or just flat out answer down there. So let's get into looking at this great old school sounding country, which, you know, you think Albania, Transylvania, Romania, just very old school sounding. So getting right into the basics, Albania is officially known as the Republic of Albania. I didn't know it was a republic, did you? Albania is located in Southeast Europe, and most people would say it's located in the Mediterranean Sea. Although this is not actually true, they would be wrong if you were to say that. The reason for this is because on its northern shores you have the Adriatic Sea, and for its southern shores it's on the Ionian Sea. Which by the way guys, I know there's probably some very specific ways of pronouncing the Ionian or Ionian Sea, but I'm Canadian. Now the size of this country comes in at approximately 28,748 kilometers square, making it one of the smallest countries in the world to be placed along two bodies of water. In this case, you have the two different seas that Albania has on its shores. And besides its shoreline, its neighboring countries come in at approximately four. You've got Kosovo or Serbia, which there are some issues there. On top of that, there's also Greece, Macedonia, and Montenegro. I also actually forgot to mention that when it comes to its land size, the country ranks 140th in the world. But surprisingly, when it comes to this nation, although it is small, it has a rather high percentage of fresh water coming in, coming in at 4.7%. Now, population, this is the easy part. Basically, Albania has about 2,876,591 people as of a 2017 estimate. Now, this really hasn't changed much at all since the census that was done in 2001, which at that time, it came in at 2,821,977 people. A little less, but not by much. This makes the country actually rank 63rd in the world in terms of population, and it has a density of approximately 98 people per kilometer square. Now, you might be wondering, why is the country actually declining in population? Well, unlike some other countries due to war or um, disease or maybe even the fact of just economically some people want to leave, this really isn't the case in Albania. Mm -mm, it's actually just the fertility rate. Reason for this is because there's approximately 1.15 babies that are born per woman, making it actually have one of the lowest percentage of babies born out of any country in the world. Now, one thing that I found really interesting in Albania was the religion. Despite being close and just across the pond from Italy, it has a really high Muslim percentage, coming in at 56%. And under that, there's Catholics that come in at 10%. There are also people who practice Orthodox, Atheism, and Bektashi. But what kind of people live within the country? Well, 97% identify as Albanian, while the rest of them come from neighboring countries. However, you can't get a definitive number on this because, well, let's be perfectly honest, the last census is in major dispute. Some people think that it was falsified. Whatever the percentage may be, the country does recognize the people of the Greeks, the Macedonians, Wallachians, Montenegrins, Serbians, Romas, and of course, Egyptians, Bosnians, and Bulgarians live within the country. For languages, it's just simply got one, and that is Albanian. Greek would also come in second. However, it's not a high percentage with no more than 3% of the people actually speaking it. Of the different regions, there's about eight different dialects from my understanding. But of these eight, they pretty much divide into two major dialects that is known as Geg or Tosk. The capital of the country is Tirana, and I guess you could say it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex of a city. Yeah, I know, I probably they have that joke 
heard all the time. Albania as a whole has also been around since 1190. It was known as the Principality of Arbanan, and it wasn't until 1272 that it became the Kingdom of Albania. It's kind of weird because this country has had like 11 different state name changes in history. To give you an idea, there was the First Republic of Albania and, well, pretty much all the way up to the Fourth, which I think it currently is now. I'm not too sure. The Fourth Republic of Albania came into effect somewhere around 1991 when, obviously, it broke apart from the Soviet Union. And its newest constitution came into effect in 1998. The current government is known as a Unitary Parliamentary Constitutional Republic. It has a president named Ailir Mehta and a prime minister known as Ida Rama. Now, to answer your question of what the country is most famous for, well, it would be a person. If you answered Mother Teresa, you would be absolutely right. She was born on August 26th, 1910 in Skopje, which is the capital of Northern Macedonia, which back then was theoretically part of the Ottoman Empire, which Albania was a part of that until it separated in 1912. But realistically, she was born in an Albanian family. So there you go, she's Albanian. Anyways, guys, that is it. That is me looking at the amazing country of Albania. I will do a part two on this awesome country. So. Feel free to leave me any facts down there, you know, for the stuff that I've missed, because I know I've missed quite a lot. But other than that, my name is Dave Waffle. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out our Monday episodes, because I love learning about new countries, and I hope you guys do too. Other than that, if you guys really love history of the world, feel free to check out my new channel, which is called Learn History. Or if you like gaming, check out my other channel called Picky Nerds. I know, I do a lot of stuff on YouTube. Yeah, I'll put it down there in the description box below. You guys can check it out. But thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so by the way, here's a recommended playlist that I know you guys will really, really like. So feel free to check it out at your own convenience. Other than that, you guys have yourself a fantastic one. Bye.